All right, guys, sorry, new puppy problem. All right, guys, we are gonna start in child's pose today. Um, so go ahead and take your time making your way there. Your knees can be together or mat with distance apart, that's your choice. If your forehead doesn't quite touch the mat, you can place your hands, you can use a block if you have one, whatever you need to feel totally supported in this pose. And if child's pose becomes too much at any point in time, just make your way up to a comfortable seated position. And while we're here, take a deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Take another deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale, release. Big, deep breath in. Last, open mouth, exhale, release. Take another deep breath in and hold at the height of your inhale. And as you exhale, slowly control all the air out your nose. With every inhale, begin to breathe a little bit deeper into your belly. And with every exhale, slowly let go of all of your air. Just beginning to make every breath a little longer, a little slower, a little deeper. Begin to smooth out your breath, getting rid of any hiccups or pauses. And then begin to breathe fully into your body. So with every inhale, your ribs are gonna spread wide apart, including up to the ceiling. With every inhale, the air is gonna go all the way to your pelvic floor and all the way up through the crown of your head just creating space between each vertebrae. Then begin to constrict the back of your throat for Ujjayi breath. This should make an ocean-like sound loud enough for you to hear and maybe even your neighbor. This is the breath of yoga. This is the breath that will begin to warm you from the inside out. This is the breath that will get you through the poses. And if you do nothing else today besides breathe, then you are doing yoga perfectly. And as we set our intention for practice today, I invite you to think about getting turned around in life, to feel like you're going in circles. And just think of that time in your life when maybe you got a little bit lost. And today, I want you to find something positive in getting lost and getting turned around. Knowing that it's bound to happen in life, we won't always stay on the path we thought we would. So take a moment to find that little bit of joy in getting lost and set your intention around that, creating one or two word mantra and repeating that a few times to yourself. When you're ready, as you inhale, gently lift that forehead up off the mat. And as you exhale, walk your hands all the way to the right as you gently fold again, forehead to the mat, stretching through that left side body. Keep drawing your left hip back. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, walk your hands all the way to the left. And once again, gently fold. Keep drawing that right hip back, breathe. Inhale, come back to center. And then gently walk your hands back to center. One more time, we're gonna fold. From here, we're gonna take our thumbs to the crease of our hips and our thighs, so right where your hips and your thighs meet. And as you inhale, you're gonna slowly roll up all the way onto your knees, coming up one vertebrae at a time and reach those arms up nice and high. And as you exhale, draw those arms behind you, keeping a flat back as you slowly lower all the way back down to child. Once again, draw your thumbs to the crease of your hips and your thighs. And as you inhale, slowly roll all the way up, reaching those arms up nice and high. 
Exhale, send those arms back as you slowly lower down. One more full round here as you inhale and slowly rise all the way up, reaching those arms up nice and high. And last time, keeping that back flat, gently fold back down, Prana. One more time, that thumb is gonna come to the crease of our hips and our thighs as you inhale and come all the way up. Reach those arms up nice and high and we're gonna stay here. And I'm gonna turn and face you just so you can see what we're doing. From here, we're gonna take our right leg and step it out toward the side. So that right foot's parallel to, I guess, the side edge of your mat. As you exhale, drop that right arm down your right leg as you reach that left arm overhead, stretching through that side body. Here, I want you to roll that left shoulder open, lifting and opening through that chest. Lift your chin. Inhale, come back up to center. And as you exhale, left fingertips down to the mat as you reach that right arm up overhead. If that left hand doesn't quite touch the mat, feel free to grab that block. No big deal, but keep reaching from pinky finger to pinky toe. Breathe. From here, the only thing you're gonna change is you're gonna inhale that right arm high back up to the ceiling. And as you exhale, lean that right arm backward like you're coming into a back bend, just opening through your chest, leaning backward. One more inhale here. Then exhale both hands down to the mat as you come into an awkward tabletop with your right leg still out. Here, inhale your left arm high, so you're coming into a full spinal twist. And exhale your right arm, your left arm underneath your right as you let your ear and cheek rest down on the mat. So your arm and leg should be outstretched in the same direction. Breathe. When you're ready, next inhale, gently make your way into tabletop. If you need to shake out that left knee, feel free to do so. I know when you kneel on it for so long, sometimes you need a little bit of shake. When you're ready, inhale, gently drop your stomach, lift your gaze. Exhale, curl your spine, gazing toward your belly button. Inhale, gently drop your stomach, lift your gaze. Exhale, Curl your spine. Inhale. Exhale. And just continue to do this at your own pace, linking your breath to your movement. Taking any other movements that feel necessary, that feel good. So maybe that's twisting at your hips. Maybe it's hinging forward and backward. Whatever you need this evening to begin to invite that body to start to open up, to start to move. Two more full breath cycles. And meet me back at a neutral tabletop. From here, you're gonna curl your toes under and push back to down dog, lifting your hip up and sending them to the back of the Take an exhale here. And as you inhale, slowly lower your knees back down to the mat into that tabletop and drop your stomach, lift your gaze for cow pose. As you exhale, really round your spine as you push back to that child's pose. Inhale, cow coming back to that tabletop. Exhale, curl your toes under, push back, down dog. Inhale, cow. Exhale, child. One more full round through. Inhale, coming up to cow. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, cow. Exhale, child's pose. Take a moment here. Take that deep breath in. Open mouth. Exhale, release. And then walk your thumbs to the crease of your hips and your thigh. And as you inhale, slowly come back up to kneeling, rolling one vertebrae at a time back up. And inhale those arms up to the ceiling. I did not forget about that other side. 
So when you're ready, step that left foot out to the side. Exhale your left arm down your left leg as you reach that right arm overhead. Keep rolling that right shoulder open here. Keep lifting your chin. Stretch through that side body. Inhale, come back up to center. Exhale your right fingertips down to the mat or onto the block. As you reach that left arm up overhead, stretching from pinky finger to pinky toe. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, lean backward, opening up your chest. Inhale, that left arm high, and exhale, both hands down to the mat. Coming into that awkward tabletop, your left leg is still out. Inhale, your right arm high, coming into that full spinal twist. Exhale, your right arm underneath your left ear and cheek resting down on the mat. Once again, your arm and leg are outstretched to the same side. Breathe. When you're ready, inhale, slowly make that way into tabletop. If you'd like to do another cat cow or two here, feel free to do whatever you need. And when you're ready, just meet me in down dog, curling those toes under, pushing those hips up to the ceiling and to the wall behind you. And just take a moment or two here to bend one knee and then the other. Just inviting that back body to start to open up, to start to move. If you feel like you really want to get into your hips, maybe you really bend those knees and get into those hips again. And when you're ready to find some stillness in your down dog, find that stillness. Fingers are spread wide apart as you push it down through the base of your index finger and thumb. Shoulder blades slide down your back, tilt your sit bones up to the ceiling, even if that means bending your knees. Breathe. Take this moment. When you're ready, inhale, hinge forward to play top of a push-up pose. Then without moving your hands or feet, exhale, push back, down dog. Inhale, hinge forward to plank. Exhale, push back, down dog. One more time here, you're gonna inhale, hinge forward to that plank. Last time, exhale, push back, down dog. Inhale, look forward in between your hands. And exhale, step or walk to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, create that nice flat back, really pinning your shoulder blades together. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms reach as you come all the way up to standing. Exhale, cactus your arms, take that back bend, really open through your chest here. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, create that nice flat back. Exhale, plant your hands and step back to plank, top of a push-up pose. And this is the only plank we're gonna hold today. So spread your fingers wide. Push it down through your hands, lift through your shoulders. Full navel to spine, engage your legs, make them nice and strong, breathe. Let your body start to warm up. So while we're here, so I can distract you for a moment, I'm gonna tell you that at some point today, you are gonna face the back of your mat. So just be prepared for that. Inhale, hinge forward, or hinge slightly forward, shoulders in front of fingers. And exhale, slowly lower down to your mat, chest and hips touch at the same time. Tops of your feet to the mat, and inhale, gently lift your chest for cobra. Little to no weight through your hands. Exhale, curl your toes under, push back, down dog. Inhale, look forward in between your hands, and exhale, step or walk to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, create that nice flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms reach as you come all the way up to standing. Exhale, cactus your arms, take that back bend. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale, halfway lift, create that nice flat back. Exhale, plant your hands and step back to plank. Inhale, hinge slightly forward. And exhale, slowly lower down to your mat, letting your knees rest for the Top of your feet to the mat and inhale, just lift that chest forward. Exhale, curl your toes under, push back, down dog. Last time, inhale, lift forward in between your hands. And exhale, step or walk to the front. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms reach as you come all the way up to standing. Exhale, take your back bend open through that chest. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, create that nice flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to plank and slowly lower elbows, touch your sides. Inhale, either gently lift that chest for cobra or begin to straighten your arms for up dog. Exhale, curl your toes under, push back, down dog. And just take a moment here to come back to your breath. Remembering that at any point in time, you can skip down dog and rest in child's pose with that push feet. And anything we do from down dog, you can do from table top. So take what your body needs today, stay with your breath. One more inhale. One more exhale. Inhale your right leg high. Exhale, draw your knee toward your nose, come forward and back. Inhale your right leg high. Exhale, step your foot forward. Push that foot forward with your hand. And just take a moment here to play into your hips. So maybe a little up and down. Maybe a little side to side. Maybe a little forward and backward. Whatever you need today. Then when you're ready. Gently sink into your hips and lift your chest coming into the runner's line. So your fingertips are still touching the matter onto the block. Take another inhale here. And as you exhale, you're gonna spider crawl your fingers all the way around to the back of your mat. So you should be facing the opposite way. Sink into your hips, fingertips the mat, and gently lift that chest for runner's lunge again. Once again, take an inhale here. And as you exhale, spider crawl your hands back to the front of your mat. One more runner's lunge as you inhale. Then exhale, plant your hands. Step back to plank. And you can either lower and go through that flow or exhale and push back down dog or child's pose, skipping that flow all together. Your choice, your practice. Take a deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale, release. Inhale, that left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, your leg high. Exhale, step that foot forward in between your hands. And once again, play into those hips. So maybe you're a little up and down. Maybe you're a little side to side. Maybe a little forward and backward. Whatever you need today. Then we're gonna find that runner's lunge, fingertips to the mat, sink into your hips and gently lift that chest. Breathe. Take your moment here. One more inhale. Then as you exhale, spider crawl your hands around the back of your mat. And inhale, runner's lunge, facing the opposite wall. Take another inhale. Then exhale, spider crawl your hands back to the front of your mat. Inhale, last runner lunge. Exhale, plant your hands. Step back to plank. And once again, either lower and go to that left, or exhale and push back down dog, skipping that low ball. Take a deep breath in. 
open up that field. Inhale your right leg high. Exhale your knee to your mouth. Inhale your leg high. Exhale, step that foot forward in between your hands. Fingertips come out and inhale, runners lunge. Breathe. This time, engage that back leg. Push it down through your front heel and your next inhale, you're gonna reach those arms up nice and high. High lunge, breathe. Your back knee is an option here if you wanna drop down to it. It's always there for you, so take what you need. Otherwise, that leg is strong and engaged and that heel is lifted up off the mat. Tailbone goes long, only able to find reach through your arm. Relax through your shoulders. Breathe. Take an inhale and an exhale. One more inhale. Exhale your fingertips down to the mat and spider call them to the back of your mat. So you're facing the opposite wall again. And this time, inhale, open up, warrior two. So your back heel is going to rest on your mat. I guess it's your front heel, technically. Right foot's resting on your mat. Back heel's resting, and your back foot's parallel, right foot's parallel to that front edge. Engage that leg. Make it nice and strong. Hips are facing the side wall, and draw your front knee out to the wall behind you. Tailbone goes long. Only able to find reach to your arm. Relax to your shoulder. Breathe. Take an inhale and an exhale. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Drop your back arm down your back leg as you reach overhead. Keep that bend in your front knee and think more about reaching up rather than reaching back. Three. One more inhale. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down to the mat, still facing the back of your mat. Plant your hands, step back to plank. And either lower and go to that flip, or exhale and push back to down dog, skipping that flip off the mat. Your choice, your practice. Take a deep breath in. Open oh, mouth, exhale, let it go. Inhale your left leg high. Exhale your knee to your nose. Inhale your leg high. Exhale, step that foot forward in between your hands. And inhale, runner's lunge. Fingertips rest on that mat and you'll lift your chest free. Then when you're ready, engage that back leg, push through your front heel, and inhale, arms reach, high lunge. Your back knee is still an option to it if you need it. Otherwise, that leg is strong and engaged. Tailbone grows long, only able to find reach to those arms and relax your shoulders. Maybe sink a little bit deeper on the side. Take an inhale. Exhale your fingers to the down to the mat and spider crawl your hands all the way to the front of your neck. Inhale, open up, warrior two. So now our right leg is bent and our left leg is nice and engaged. So left heel's resting. Left leg is strong. Hips face the side wall. Draw your front knee out to the wall behind you. Tailbone grows long, only able to find reach to your arm. Relax to your shoulder. Gaze over your front fingertips. Breathe. Take a moment here. Come back to that breath. One more exhale. Inhale, reverse your warrior, dropping your back arm down your back leg. Once again, think more about reaching up rather than reaching back. Three. One more inhale. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down to the mat. Step back to plank. And either lower and go through that flow, or exhale and push back down dog, skipping that flow off. Your choice, your practice. Take a deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale, release. 
So we are about to do a full circle around our mat. Now it's called a mandala in yoga. What that's gonna look like is that we are gonna do our right side two times. The first time we do our right side, we'll be nice and slow. The second time we do our right side, it's gonna be breath to movement, which does not necessarily mean fast. The slower you breathe, the slower you get to move. So, um, so find down dog or tabletop wherever you're gonna start if you came out of it. And when you're ready, inhale your right leg high. Exhale your knee to your nose coming forward in flat plank. Inhale your right leg high. Exhale, step that foot forward in between your hands. Inhale, runner's lunge. Stay for your exhale. Inhale, arms reach, high lunge, find that pose, back legs engage. And as you exhale, cactus those arms open through your chest, breathe. Lift through heart center. Inhale, come back up to center. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Back heels resting, back legs strong and engaged. Draw that front knee out, breathe. Relax through your shoulder. Inhale, reverse your warrior, dropping your back arm down your back leg, reach that right arm high. Breathe. Inhale, warrior two. And as you exhale, your right forearm is gonna to come to your right thigh as you reach that left arm high. Here you wanna keep your chest and hips open. If you feel like they're starting to collapse, keep your forearms where they are. If you feel like you can go deeper, feel free to bring that right hand to a block or all the way down to your mat. Keep breathing. And our next move is about to be really big, so I want you to really pull navel to spine. And as you inhale, you're gonna straighten both arms, both legs coming into star. See if you can engage every muscle. And then as you exhale, forward fold. Take that nice wide-legged forward fold. Enjoy it on this side where we get to hold it here, knowing that when we do the right side again, we won't stay. So take your moment. Catch your breath. When you're ready, inhale, halfway lift. Create that nice flat back. Breathe. Next, as you exhale, take a deep bend in your left knee and turn your right toes up to face the ceiling. Here, if you need to stay up a little bit higher, do that, that's great. Or if you need to lift your left heel, do that as well. Whatever you need, but take a moment here to sink into this pose. Fingertips to mat or hands to heart center, your choice. Breathe. Take an inhale. Exhale, spider crawl your hands to the back of your mat. Inhale, runner's lunge facing the back of the room. Exhale, plant your hands. Step back to plank. And either lower and go through that flip. Or exhale and push back down dog or table back. Your choice. So once again, this next flow is still going to be the right side. It's going to be the same set of poses, but breath to movement. So when you're ready, inhale your right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale your right leg high. Exhale, step your foot forward in between your hands. Inhale, runner's lunge. Stay for your exhale. Inhale, arms reach, high lunge. Exhale, cactus those arms, take your back bend. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, side angle, right forearm to right thigh. Inhale, star, straighten both arms, both legs. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, take a deep bend in your left knee, right toes turn up to face the ceiling. Stay for your inhale. Exhale, spider crawl your hands back to the front of your mat. Inhale, runner clench. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to plank, and either lower and go through that plank, 
or exhale and push back down dog. Your choice, your practice. The good news is we only have two more times, both on our left side, and then we get to that stretchy good stuff. So just take a deep breath here. Open mouth, exhale, release. The first side, we're gonna take our time. When you're ready, inhale your left leg. Exhale your knee to your knuckle. Inhale that left leg high. Exhale, step your foot forward in between your hands. And inhale, runner's lunge. Stay for your exhale. Inhale, arms reach, high lunge. Take a moment here, find your pose. Back legs engaged, tailbones long, full navel to spine, relax through those shoulders, breathe. One more inhale. Exhale, cactus those arms, take your back bend, breathe. Inhale, come back up, arms reach. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Back leg is strong and engaged. Hip space the side wall, draw your front knee out. Tailbone grows long, pull navel to spine, reach through your arms, relax through your shoulders. Come back to your breath. Next, inhale, reverse that warrior, dropping your back arm down your back leg, reach that top arm high. Breathe. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale your left forearm to your left side as you reach that right arm high. Don't sink into your left shoulder here, lift up and out of it. And then if you can keep that chest and hips open, maybe fingertips to the block or maybe all the way down to your mat. Your choice, breathe. Remember this next move is about to be really big, so pull navel to spine. And as you inhale, straighten both arms, both legs, start. Exhale, forward fold. Let that head and neck hang heavy. Take your moment here to just breathe. Inhale, halfway lift, create that nice flat back. Exhale, take a deep bend in your right knee as you turn your left toes up to face the ceiling. Remembering that you can stay up higher if you need to, or that right heel can lift instead of touch. The lifting or touching has more to do with anatomy and less to do with flexibility, so take what you need. Breathe. One more inhale here. Exhale your fingertips around the back of your mat. Inhale, runner's lunge. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to plank, and either lower and go through that flow, or exhale and push back down dog. We think that's going to help you out. Your choice. This next side is breath to movement, so take a deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale, release. Inhale your left leg high. Exhale your knee to your nose. Inhale your left leg high. Exhale, step your foot forward in between your hands. And inhale, runner's lunge. Stay for your exhale. Inhale, arms reach as you come up to high lunge. Exhale, cactus both arms, take your back bend. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, side angle, left forearm to left thigh. Inhale, star, straighten both arms, both legs. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, take a deep bend in your right knee, turn your left toes up to face the ceiling. Stay for your inhale. Exhale, spider curl your hands around the front of your neck. Inhale, runner's lunge. Exhale, plant your hands to back to plank. And either lower and go through that flow, or exhale and push back down dog or child pose your chest. Breathe. 
and take a deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale, really. Inhale, look forward in between your hands. And exhale, step or walk to the front of your mouth. Inhale, halfway lift, create that nice flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms reach as you come all the way up to standing. Exhale, your hands to heart center and close your eyes. Take a moment here just to come back to your breath. I know anytime you really start moving like that, your breath tends to pick up. So take this moment to slow it down, to create some length in your breath. And when you're ready, gently exhale your chin to your chest. Slowly flutter your eyes open and gaze forward and find a drifty, a focal point, a spot on the wall or a spot on the floor. Just don't make it something that's going to move. But I'm going to tell you, if you are on carpet like I am, balancing is even harder on carpet. So don't judge yourself as you fall over. So find that drifty, that focal point, and ground down through all four corners of your right foot. Engage that right leg, making it nice and strong. So don't just lock out that knee. Keep that slight bend and use your muscles. Tailbone goes long, pull in the able to spine. And when you're ready, that left foot is either going to kick stand at your ankle, come up to your calf, and only maybe all the way up to that upper thigh, making sure you totally avoid your knee joint. So if any part of your knee, if any part of your foot touches any part of your knee, move that foot up or down. Great. Right. And the trick here is to keep breathing. And you want to push down through the base of your standing big toe. Push your foot into your leg and your leg into your foot. If you fall over, laugh and come back in. It's all great. It's all yoga. Breathe. Then when you're ready and you found that stability, maybe inhale and reach those arms up nice and high, turning your pinkies toward each other. So let those shoulders fall away from your ears. And if you are like me and totally going crazy in quarantine, you're probably off balance and that is okay. Great. Take your moment. Fall out, come back again. One more inhale. Exhale your hands to heart center and allow your left foot to meet your right. Shake out that right leg. When you're ready, refine that drifty, that focal point. This time, ground down through all four corners of your left foot. Engage that left leg so we're not locking our knee out, we're using our muscles. Tailbone goes long, pull navel to spine, and right foot kicks down, calf, and only maybe all the way up to that upper thigh. Knowing that each side is going to be a little bit different, and that's okay. Embrace whatever this side holds for you. Once again, keep breathing. Push it down through the base of your standing big foot. Push your foot into your leg and your leg into your foot. Three. Fall over, laugh, come back in. And if you've managed to find that stability, maybe inhale as you reach those arms up nice and high. Once again, turning your pinkies toward each other. Breathe. Relax through those shoulders. Nice. One more inhale. Exhale your hands to heart center and allow your right foot to meet your left. Shake out that left leg and then go ahead and shake out your right leg and then maybe let your arms go and shake those out too and maybe you shake out your head because I can tell without seeing very many of you that I know it's stressful for everyone. So shake out all that stress. Do whatever you need to do to let it go. Whew. When you're ready, inhale, arms reach. Exhale your hands to heart center. We're going to step our left foot in front of our right foot. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Create that nice flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms reach as you come all the way up to standing. 
Exhale your hands to heart center. Uncross, recross the other way. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms reach as you come all the way up to standing. Exhale, your hands to heart center. Uncross. Last time, inhale, reach those arms up nice and high. Then exhale as you forward fold, taking a slight bend in your knees here and grabbing opposite elbows. And just let that head and neck hang heavy. This stretch is not about your hamstrings. You've got your hamstrings already. So take as deep of a bend in your knees as you need to to let that upper body hang heavy. Breathe. And maybe here you want to nod your head yes and no. Just beginning to release any tension you may have built up there. Then maybe you want to gently sway from side to side, releasing any tension you may have built up in your low back. Just taking a moment to do whatever feels good for you. And exhale your hands down to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands. Step back to plank. And we're going to push back down dog. Breathe. Inhale your right leg high. Exhale, step your foot forward in between your hands. And then heel toe your foot to the outside edge of your mat. So both hands are resting on the inside of your foot. Then exhale, sink nice and deep into your hips. So we have a lot of options here. But if you would like a more strength building pose, you're gonna stay up on the ball of that back foot. If you would like more restorative, drop down to that back knee and the top of your back foot. If you are here and you are okay, great, stay on your hands. If you need a little bit less, bring your hands to the block. If your hands are on the mat and you are okay and there is no pain and you can still breathe, maybe bring your forearms onto the block or forearms all the way down to the mat, wherever you can still breathe and there is no pain. And let go through that head and neck. Knowing this is not a pose we are gonna come out of quickly, so find a way to be okay here, to breathe and let go. And I'm gonna challenge you this evening to start to notice what you start to do as poses get uncomfortable, as we begin to hold them. Do you start to twitch and come out? Do you let your mind wander to all the things you need to do? Or do you stay with your breath? Try and bring your attention back to that breath to be in this moment, knowing that I am not gonna keep you here forever. And this will not last. When you're ready, inhale, make your way back up onto your hands. Exhale, curl your toes under and send that right leg all the way up and back for three legged dog. Shake out that right leg, stretch it out, do whatever you think feels good. And then set your right foot down on the mat. Inhale your left leg high. Exhale, step your foot forward in between your hands. And then heel toe that foot to the outside edge of your mat. So both hands are resting on the inside of your foot for you. And remember, this side's gonna be a little bit different than the other side, so take your time here. If you want that more strength building pose, stay up on the ball of your back foot. Or if you want more restorative, drop down to that back knee. Here, hands to block, hands to mat, forearms to block, or forearms to mat. Take what you need today and just breathe. Let go through that head and neck. And see if you can stay with your breath, even if it's just one second longer than you did before. 
The truth is the way we deal with things on the mat is how we deal with them off the mat. So while you're in the safe space on your mat, practice being uncomfortable. Practice staying in the moment with your breath, knowing you've been uncomfortable before, and it will not last. Inhale, make your way back up onto your hands. Exhale, curl those back toes under and send your left leg all the way up and back. Shake it out, stretch it out, do whatever you need to do. And gently let that foot rest back down on the mat. And just take a moment here to notice your last down dog of the day. And just notice how it feels different compared to the first. Breathe. One more inhale. Exhale, allow your knees to rest on the mat. And just gently find your way into a seated position. So in our seated position, you're gonna stretch your right leg out toward the side and we're gonna bring our left foot to our inner thigh. Right hand is gonna to come to the inside of your right leg somewhere. Maybe that's closer to your hips, maybe it's closer to your feet. If you're feeling really flexible, you can bring that right forearm down to the inside, whatever is feeling good for you today. That left hand is gonna either start at your wrist or at your elbow. And once again, as you inhale, draw your chest open, reaching that left arm up nice and high. Keep flexing through your right toes. Maybe wiggle those right toes just so you know where they are. And as you exhale, reach that left arm up overhead, like maybe one day you'll touch your toes. Probably not today or tomorrow or this lifetime, but maybe one day. And I want you to keep rolling your chest open so much that maybe your back would rest on your thigh. Knowing that that is a really big maybe. Breathe. Inhale, come back up. We're gonna take our right hand to the outside of our left knee. Left fingertips behind you and inhale, elongate through the crown of your head. Then exhale, slowly deepen into your twist. Starting at the very base of your spine and allowing your gaze to be the last thing that reaches toward the back wall. Breathe. Gently take your left hand and plant it all the way down on the mat behind your left hip. As you inhale, we're gonna roll up onto our left knee. Lift through your hips, lift through your chest, reach that right arm back. Stretch through that whole front body here. Then exhale, slowly set everything back down on the mat. And let's switch sides. Left leg's gonna come up right foot to your inner thigh. Breathe. When you're ready, remembering this side might be different, left hand's gonna come to your inner leg. Maybe that's closer to your thigh, maybe it's closer to your foot foot, maybe that forearm rests. Breathe. Right hand starts at your elbow and slowly begin to draw that chest open. Reach that right arm nice and high. Before we go anywhere else, flex through that left foot. Maybe wiggle your left toes just so you know where they are without looking at them. Then exhale, reach that right arm overhead like maybe one day you'll touch your toes. And remember to keep rolling that right shoulder open like maybe one day your back will lay on your thigh. Breathe. Inhale, come back up to center. Left hand to the outside of your right knee, right fingertips behind you. Inhale, elongate through the crown of your head. Exhale, slowly deepen into your twist. Starting at the very base of your spine, allowing your gaze to be the last thing that reaches toward the back wall. Breathe.
When you're ready, gently place that right hand all the way down on the mat behind your hip and inhale as you roll up onto your right knee. Lift through your hips, lift through your chest, reach that left arm back. Breathe. Stretching through that whole front body. One more inhale. Exhale, slowly set those hips back down on the mat and stretch both legs straight out in front of you. Take your hands and actually move that flex and love away from your sit bone. Flex your feet and inhale, reach those arms up nice and high. And exhale, hinging from your hips, grabbing whatever you can, calf angles or toes, knowing that nothing magic happens if you touch your toes. Breathe. Maybe inhale as you lift halfway back up. And exhale as you hinge and fold a little bit deeper. You can either stay here holding a stretch just like it is, or maybe do those half lifts just one or two more times. Your choice. Inhale, gently make your way back up to seated. And we're gonna find our way onto our backs, however feels good for you. If you wanna put on warmer clothes, feel free to do that. Grab a blanket or block or bolster, whatever it is you have that you might wanna use. And just gently make your way onto your back. When you're ready, draw your knees into your chest and give yourself a nice big squeeze. Maybe rocking from side to side if it's comfortable for you. Just massaging your back, releasing your kidney. Then when you're ready, reach your arms on the insides of your legs to grab the outside of your feet, calves, or maybe grab those sides. And just draw your knees closer to the mat as you flex your feet as if you're standing on the ceiling for happy baby. And keep grounding your shoulder blades into the mat. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you rock from side to side. Maybe you want to play with striking out one leg at a time. Just kind of doing whatever you think feels good to end practice with. You can also draw your big toes together and open your knees out nice and wide. Just whatever you need. And gently draw your knees into your chest here as you give yourself one last final big squeeze. And gently stretch your legs out onto the mat. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead as you reach fingers and toes to opposite ends of the room. Exhale, gently release. Allow your feet to fall wherever they'd like and bring your arms down by your side, palms face up. Take a deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale, release. Take another deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Final big deep breath in. Last open mouth, exhale, release. And allow your breath to return to its natural rhythm. Feel your muscles growing heavy as you sink deeper into your mouth. Smooth out the wrinkles in your forehead. And allow all the thoughts to escape your mind as you come back to your breath, as we rest in our final pose, knowing that you can stay here for as long as you like, whether that's five breaths or 15 minutes, whatever you need tonight. Thank you for joining me. Namaste.